Uh, then there's Montana, where John Tester, of course, has been targeted by Donald Trump. Um, in fact, the president's had no fewer than four rallies uh, that planned there. Uh, and yet the president cannot get the guy down in the polls here. Keep in mind, the president himself won Montana by over 20 points. The we'll read now from former Democratic Montana Senator Max Baucus. Um, Senator, always good to have you. What do you make of that? And that despite the president's popularity in the state, uh, John Tester is, is surviving. And it, polls are polls. And you've reminded me in the past that they, they don't matter until Election Day. But, but he seems to be absorbing these body blows. Montanans know John Tester. I mean, he's uh, served two terms, 12 years. Um, he also was the legislature for a while. Um, he's a basic Montanan. You know, he had a crew cut, missed a couple fingers. He's uh, got a little weight on him now. <laughs> he's, he's just a basic good guy, and people know him. His opponent, uh, this guy, is really not a stater, not been in Montana for very many years. He's got an out of state twang. Um, and really, this election comes down to are you going to vote for the guy you know, local guy, or the out of stater? And even though Trump's tried to nationalize this race uh, by, uh, by talking about uh, immigration and national issues, um, I don't think that's going to prevail. Uh, Trump has come in here. He's a campaign four times already in the last four, several right, months right. in Montana against uh, and Pence a couple of times, Donnie Jr. So he added all together about eight uh, Republican president, vice president, and, and surrogates have been here against Tester for the last um, uh, several months, primarily because uh, Donald Trump is, is vindictive. He's vindictive against John Tester. Why? Because John Tester outed or uh, caused some problems for Ronnie Jackson, who uh, Trump wanted to be his VA right. administrator, and that, Trump has taken that personally. I don't. That's why it's come so often. I don't think it's going to work, but he sure is Trump working hard at it. Um, yeah, the, 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 there's a lot of bad blood uh, ever since uh, that that you know nomination, and the general took himself out of the running uh, for that. But I, I am curious now. The president seems to have made it clear that the Senate is his priority. Uh, he's all but given up on the House. What do you make of that? Well, I, I think um, that's true. I mean, the most analysts think that the um, House is going to be Democratic. Of course, you never know until the votes are counted. Uh, and most think the, there are still enough uh, Republican, uh, not enough uh, Senate seats, Republican incumbents are going to stay, and that uh, the Democrats will not be able to get a majority in the Senate. I don't know. We'll see. This is a yeah. crazy year. It it's really a crazy is.